Hello, everybody. We're welcoming back Dana Lane, NHL analyst here for SBR Videos. And last night, a tough night for Dana and I both. Um, some things just did not go our way, but we believe heavily in getting up and brushing our knees off and moving forward. Uh, Dana's not doing any damage, 7-7. Seven and seven. Tonight's a breakout night for him. There's a very interesting game, Dana. And first and foremost, uh, nice to have you back on with us. Uh, the Dallas Stars go into the Chicago Blackhawks. These are two of the better teams in the league. The Stars are 15-8-3 on the road as opposed to the Blackhawks 21-6-1 at home. So something's got to give here. But there could be revenge factor, you know, playing into this game because Saturday the Blackhawks absolutely uh, whooped the Stars 5-1 on their home ice. Uh, Dana, what are your thoughts on this game? Uh, do you think revenge factor is in the air? And who do you like to come out the winner tonight? Well, these are certainly two teams going uh, since the first of the year in opposite directions. And we remember the Dallas Stars had a phenomenal start and led the Central for quite a bit uh, until the 12-game winning streak in January where Chicago raced right by them. And and we we talk about goaltending all the time. And, and to me, it always starts with Corey Crawford, and he's getting better uh, as the season goes on. This is a guy who's a big-time goaltender in big-time situations. Even the other night against San Jose in the loss, he certainly deserved a better fate in the shutout, and I just think that was a case of the Blackhawks looking ahead to facing the Dallas Stars again. Okay, so um, is there any thoughts to, and I don't know if you have a, an update, but what I'm hearing, the second leading scorer for the Blackhawks, and forgive me about the name uh, pronunciation, Artemi Panarin. Pavanen, um, I heard he's questionable, maybe even doubtful. Do you have any updates on his condition? Yeah, I, I expect Panarin to play. The other night, the only reason why he didn't play is because of an illness and because of the way the NHL expresses their injuries. You never really know exactly what that means. Uh, but the fact of the matter is I, I'd expect him to play tonight. I'm not sure an illness uh, is going to linger this, this far. It could be just the flu, uh, but I, I do expect him to suit up. I haven't seen anything that would indicate otherwise. And, you know, also the Stars, they've won their last three road games. This team doesn't mind going on the road. However, I believe center Jason Spiezen is still out. Do you have an update on him as well? Yeah, that's right. And, in fact, he is week to week now instead of day to day, wow. got placed on injured reserve. And, uh, again, I have not – I mean, I know that they beat the Wild the other night, but going from the Wild to the Blackhawks is two separate things. And I want to see how Dallas – performs without their third leading scorer in Jason Spezza. So uh, until I can see that they're okay, uh, I'm, I'm not going to back them. And it, we, we see the line at about $1.35, which is about where it opened, and I think that's right. Uh, but I still like Chicago in this game, even though it's a revenge situation. Yeah, I think Chicago, you know, they're, they're a veteran enough team. They've won enough to know, hey, we, we're not going to get too excited that we blew them out on their home ice. Now it's time to take care of business on our home ice. And I think the you know, the fact that, that, that Jason uh, Spiza is out is going to play a big, big factor here. So I, I saw that line at $1.34, so that's, that's a very good value, I feel. So viewers, you heard it. Dana likes the Blackhawks tonight, minus the 134, minus 135 on the money line. And I'm not jumping on his back tail, but I'm jumping on the pick. I like it as well. I'm going with Chicago. I just think they got too much momentum going right now. So cash your ticket tonight in the NHL with the Blackhawks on the money line. Dana, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for being back with us. And we look forward to talking to you again real soon, my friend. Always happy to be here. Thank you.